I've come to see an old friend in Luton in Bedfordshire, Len Cooper, Managing Director of Verulam Engineering. Good afternoon Len, good to see you again. This is uh, the first time I've been back here since 2001 when I sold you your first microlock kit system. You got another one since then I believe? Yeah, we've got, got two now, both on the two machines down there and both in constant use. And uh, still holds components to precision? Work perfectly. Excellent, excellent. And how's business here? Because you've moved as well, so used yeah, to be across the way. Yeah, we've had quite a bit of investment over the last couple of years with the, with the new factory and new equipment. I mean, back. I would say this is twice the size of your previous place. Over twice the size, yeah. So yeah. business is good? Yeah, business is very good. Been expanding. Been, our customer base has been growing over the last couple of years as well. Because you, you started in 1990, would that be correct? That's right, started in 1990. So that would make 24 years now trading? Trading, yep. And you were a year's year on year getting better? Oh, I think so. I think so. The technology's getting better. We get better. Yep. This, uh, it's been good. And, and we're here all obviously to talk as well about one of your recent purchases, an Ajax machining centre. Two. Two of. Two machines. Two tell, machines. Tell us a little year. bit about those machines and why you bought them. Well, we bought them. One of the main reasons for buying them was the Hard Nine control. They've got the um, the new Six Twenty controls on, which is compatible with our, some of our other machines and. All my lads are used to using that sort of system, but the, the machine itself is it's a nice tidy machine. It's quick. It's got 48 meters a minute on the, on the rapid movement, and it's in a, and it's in the size of the box it's in. That's pretty quick. I, I, I noticed they're a compact machine. You've got two machines next to each other, which is taking up not much more space than some. No, well that's right. Yeah, and um, they've got a nice swarf conveyor on them as well. The swarf comes out the back of the machine, so we don't even have to stop the machine to clean them out. We can just go around the back, scrape out the swarf without even stopping the machine, which is very handy. What I also like about them is they come complete. You don't get a load of add-ons. They come with a spindle chiller. They come with the oil skimmer, and it's all in the price. You don't, you're not got, you know, you're not got your basic price and then a load of add-ons because if you want this or you want that, you know, it's uh, so, so a reasonably high specification then for a, good, a standard good, machine. Yeah, good spec, good price. And, and you mentioned about swarf, that is often overlooked, isn't it? You buy a machine and, you, and, and it comes in and you think, am I going to get the swarf out of it? Well, that's right, yeah. And, you know, you start talking about swarf conveyors and that, you start taking up a lot of room. And uh, the last thing we want to do is have a nice, nice new factory and then fill it up with stuff that you don't, that's not producing anything. So we can just... And, and what are you machining on, on the machines? Well, we're machining all sorts of materials, anything from plastics up to 316 stainless steels. And, uh, well, actually, we actually... Machine tungsten on two of our machines. On your, we're using your microlock system. <laughs> Microlocks, yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that's good to hear. And so the machines are obviously performing well. They are indeed. Yes, yes. We've had very few problems. One or two minor problems, but the service department Ajax have been here same day most of the time. Phone them up in the morning and they're here in the afternoon. And the big question: Would you buy another one? Definitely. So plans for the year ahead, then, Len? Are you uh, are you looking for any new machines? Yeah, well, we're planning to try and expand our uh, our turning side of things at the moment. We're uh, we're a bit limited on that side. We've plenty of room for expansion there, so we're going to look on your uh, MTD website and uh, see what we can see, find. See what you can find. Good, good, good. And in terms of in terms of exhibitions, you go into the show this year as well. You go into the Mac show. And yes, kind? I'll probably go and have a look. Let's like say I have a we want to have a look at some some of the the lives that are out on the market these days. Cause there's, very, there's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you, you've got the you've got the space for it, and you've got lots of milling capacity, so it'd be good to add turning to it too. Yeah, well, I say we've got lots of milling capacity. But, uh, that's, uh, I bought two Jaxes thinking to, we'd uh, have some spare capacity, but that hasn't turned out that way. We still haven't got a lot of spare capacity. <laughs> you've, you've filled them already. <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah. They're, they're running, they're running full time all the time. So. Well, it's really good to see. 14 years on, 13 years on a business that has just continued to grow. So thanks a lot for your time, Len, and uh, good luck for the future. Thank you.